I tried with Sam. I wanted to save him. Well, I reckon it's a lot more complicated than that. I'm looking for my brother. Tommy! Tommy, those things that you judge me for, I did those things to keep us alive. We did those things. They weren't things. We murdered people. Be careful who you put your faith in. The only people who can betray us are the ones we trust. The narrative function of Henry and Sam was to show a mirror image of Joel and Ellie, this brother that's almost like a father to Sam, a person that's willing to do anything to protect his brother. Sam and Henry are another example of this duality that we encounter who are bonded together not only because they're the only family they have left, but because they also speak a language that very few people speak. I love that so often when we were working on this, when we had a deviation, Craig would always call me. He's like, okay, I've been thinking about Sam, and just hear me out, I know it's a big change, but what if he were deaf? And it's a way that Sam has to rely on Henry even more. They're going to help us escape. And I said, that's so good, it makes me upset that I didn't think about it. <laughs> Leading up to getting the role, I did not know ASL. Lamar and Bella picked up ASL in an instant. The interpreters and CJ and Kevon and this mum, they were so willing to help anyone who wanted to learn. In the end, all the crew were signing because everyone wanted to communicate and let them know how great they were. When we go into the sewers and we see that there was like a whole community down here that has perished, you get to appreciate how different groups survived. For fans of the game, when they see that drawing of Ish, they know this whole other story that has existed and happened in this world. In a game, you could pick up notes and read them. It's one of those few moments of pure innocence when you're seeing them laugh. That's very rare in this world. Sam definitely does bring out a childlike energy in Ellie, and I think that naturally came just through working with Kevon. Endure and survive. Yeah, man. <laughs> Keep it down, we're not out yet. You know, I wasn't uh, exactly telling you the truth before. He's responsible for Kathleen's brother's death because he was saving his own brother. And so my brother's more important than your brother. These are decisions that love makes, not rationality. I know why you did what you did, but did you ever stop to think that maybe he was supposed to die? He's just a fucking kid. How many people will you sacrifice? How many people will you burn to protect the one you love? Kathleen would say her absolute moral code is one of her strengths. I think it's one of her weaknesses. You need to have empathy for the positions that people are in. In a world where everything's falling apart, you latch on to the things that you can to stay sane. For a show that has monsters in it, we don't have a lot of monsters because there's no gameplay when you're watching a show but I wanted people to feel for the first time just how humanity lost. Because look at what's pouring up out of the ground. When it came to the infected, we realized that we had the largest amount of infected that we've ever had in the show so far. So we got in contact with Terry Notary, who does a lot of work with movement on the planet in the AIDS movies. He set up a special infected boot camp with stunt and movement people. When you have a human being playing these characters, you really get the subtleties that it's so hard for animators, it takes them forever to recreate it. We have everything from a swarm of infected to clickers, there's a bloater. Stop! Kathleen. 
Kathleen was killed by a child clicker. She was warned about a danger lurking in a basement. She turned away from it because she just wanted to chase after Henry and make sure she got vengeance. Maybe it's for the best. I don't think she's a person who could have found peace. You think they'll be okay? It's easier when you're a kid anyway. Neil's story made it very clear that you cannot escape fate in this regard. And that, in fact, the more ruin and hurt you cause to protect this person, the more brutal it will be when you lose anyway. The scene where Ellie tries to heal Sam with her blood, to her, it was her chance to be this hero that she'd been promised that she was. And she was so desperate, because also the relationship that she'd built with Sam. <laughs> Oh, it was really tough for me to film the scene in this room. Sam is so important to Henry. Once he lost Sam, Henry felt as though there wasn't much to live for. What, what, what did I do? And I think it really affects Joel and Ellie moving forward in the story. Henry, no! This is where Joel is beginning to understand what's happening inside him. Because it's been 20 years since there was anybody in his life like a Sam that would ruin him if he were to lose them. And he doesn't quite know how it happened, but it has begun to happen now with Ellie. When he sees what happens here, all he can think is, that's going to be her and me. And it terrifies him. <laughs> 